let's learn about double digit subtraction. Remember, subtraction is when you take numbers away. Let's say we have a lot of apples. Imagine we have 55 apples. That's a whole lot of apples. So let's give away some of our apples to our friends. How about we give away 23 apples? Now let's find out how many apples we have left by subtracting 23 from 55. Let's look at how that's done. All we have to do is break this big problem up into two little problems. First, we'll subtract the right column, the ones. What is five minus three? Do you know? Yes, five minus three equals two. Great job. Now we're halfway to our answer. Next, we'll subtract the left column, the tens column. So what is five minus two? Yes, three. Five minus two equals three. So the answer is 32. We have 32 apples left. Now let's try another subtraction problem. How about 66 minus 54? First, let's do the right column, which is the ones column. Six minus four equals Two. Next, the left column, which is the tens column. Six minus five equals one. So our answer is, that's right, 12. Now let's learn double digit subtraction with regrouping. This happens when we subtract, but the lower number is higher than the top number. Let's look at this example. 23 minus 17. Let's always start by subtracting the numbers in the ones column. So what is three minus seven? Well, we can't do this without regrouping because we can't give away more than we have since three is smaller than seven. So we have to do a special trick called borrowing. We're going to borrow one from the tens column like this. So what is two minus one? Correct, one. So the two in the tens column becomes a one. And the one gets added to the ones column. So the number becomes 13 instead of two. So now what is 13 minus seven? Hmm, yes, 13 minus seven equals six. So we write six under the ones column. Now we have to subtract the tens column. So what is one minus one? Right, zero. So there we have the answer. The answer is six. Now continue practicing this by playing your Rocket EduFund game.